Hi, welcome back to my channel and happy Friday. I have my front door open. The ticking that you hear is a haunted mansion clock from Disneyland. I am trying to beat the sunlight coming in through the front door. That's my neighbor across the street. He is getting ready to start working on his house. So let me just do a quick flip through of my cousin. This is my five year Hoping Ichi diary. In here, I am keeping my reading journal. I finally read and finished the book in October, which I'm really excited about. So let me um, show you this one first. I will have chapters listed down below for the three Hobonichis in case you just want to jump to what you want to see. And then the bag, this is something that I purchased from Daiso for like $1.50, maybe $2. This is the bag that came with the Linton Vacancies cover. And then this one didn't come with a bag. So I repurposed an old A6 that I never finished from 2017. And so I've been using this as a reading journal. I decided to draw the books that I was reading. So I started this on the first, finally finished it on yesterday. It was an ebook with 260 pages. This is down the here I would put down the rating, which I will do after I finish filming. So the book that I read was called Find Him Where You Left Him Dead by Kirsten Simmons. And then on the next page is my final thoughts of the book. And then I'm gonna go back and just show you what I've read and sketched for 2023. So this is the seance in apartment 10. The only one left. Vera wants unsolicited advice for murderers. And I just love how that cover turned out. The Island, how to sell a haunted house. Confessions on the 745. And then just a really quick flip of other books that I've read um, in 2022. So that's how I repurposed an A6 to use as my reading journal. So in here is my A5. I've really been loving this cover. This thing is so soft and I've been keeping it in the bag because uh, I do have two pets. I have uh, Bruce who is our English Bulldog and the neighborhood cat, Kit Kat. So if you've watched my videos, you've seen both of them. And right now Bruce is asleep on the couch. This is a pencil board that I made out of um, cardboard. Scrap of paper on the front. Uh, this month it's lighthouses. I sketch in pencil first and then I outline again with that Sharpie no bleed black pen and then watercolor. So this is my interpretation of the lighthouses. So this is the Portland head light, lighthouse <laughs> located in Maine. Okay, I can't pronounce this one, but this is on the western coast of Portugal. I kind of wish I picked better pictures so that I may just um, add a little bit of dark blue just to show that it's a, it's a lighthouse and that it's sitting on top and that the ocean's behind it. But I kind of don't like that there's no water like this one. Three. Oh, and then I also keep track of the temperature as well or the weather as well as the humidity level over here this is the tower of hercules it is where is it in spain so this is what it looks like uh, before i watercolor it in this one is located in greece this one is known as a lighthouse at the end of the world argentine this is the Pigeon Point Lighthouse. This is Santa Cruz, California. Okay, this one's in New Zealand. This is the Kermo Van Lighthouse in France. Hopefully this will look better once it's colored in. My lighthouses are starting to get smaller and smaller compared to the beginning. <laughs> So that's kind of why I stopped, because I am, I want the lighthouse to be bigger versus being so itty bitty. See, look how small this one is. And then this one is uh, located in Alaska. And I don't know if you can see the pencil sketch. That's supposed to be the mountains. I didn't want to highlight the mountains in black. So I'm hoping to use the watercolor to help uh, delineate that there are mountains in the background. So hopefully this will come out nice. So this is my five year. And then lastly, let me show you my cousin. So this is what it looks like now. 
I did do a little decorating in the monthly layout, so let me show you that. You know what, let me do it like this. Because it's so chunky now, um, you need something underneath it to be able to prop it up. And you'll see when I go to the back that this side will be thicker, this side will be less, and then so I'm gonna move my planner over to the other side to help prop up, to make it even like you see it right now. I hope that makes sense. So this is September. So here's October. Uh, washi tape is from Daiso. And then here I just put down like the real important things that I need to remember. So this is November. So I will probably decorate this probably the last week of October. Let's go to our weekly layout. So this is for last week. I decided to go with a Halloween theme for the month of October. I do have a lot of Halloween washi tape, which I would like to try to use up. So this is what it looks like. The packages I put over here. For this week, I decided to do a little bit, something a little bit different. So in this case, I broke it down like this. So over here is where I kept my packages. So here's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And this will help fill up the page if you don't like to do it like this. And this looks like it gives you more room, and I guess it kind of can, because you actually are, you have one full column, but they're side by side, if that makes sense, right? Because if you took this one, took this bit out, and you placed it underneath, it's almost the same length as getting a full column, like that. So this is the way that I decided to do it. And I'm probably gonna continue doing this for the next two, three weeks for October. So I haven't decorated the page yet. This I will probably do Sunday night or Sunday while my husband's home watching TV. Uh, but this is the way that I did it. And so far I'm liking it. It takes a little bit more work because you need a, uh, I used a black pen to make my lines. And then I have Halloween stickers. Uh, these are, are these quarter boxes that I made myself. And um, yeah, I kind of liked how this turned out. And then the washi tape is from Daiso. Now let's scoot him over. And go to so this is where I left you last week. This is Kit Kat, and there's Bruce. So on the 6th, it was our anniversary with Bruce. Awesome. Also my anniversary with my husband. And so for our anniversary, he he bought me the really pretty at night because it lights up, and that's supposed to be a little couple right there. Here's Finn and Humble, Humble Chan, on the next page. I have photos of my family and uh, instead of trying to cover it up because I have so many photos of my family there, I just decided to close, um, paper clip the page. So, so there's, that's the reason why the paper clip is there, covering Finn's face. But I just love the way this, these photos came out of Humble and Finn. So hi Finn, hi Humble. Bruce says hi. <laughs> this is Tuesday. So Bruce has a heart condition. I don't really let him lay out in the sun too much because if uh, he's getting too much sun, starts feeling hot, he'll start breathing faster, his heart rate will go up. And I don't want to cause any undue stress on his heart if I don't have to. And so uh, in our bedroom, we have a window that faces south. And on this day, I had the blinds open and he got up on the bed. And I don't know, it's, it might be a little bit hard to tell, but he's getting some sun on his face. So I was okay with that because I think this day we may have had our AC on. I didn't mind that the sun was hitting him there, but he was really enjoying it and he just passed out. So that's why there are two photos of him. So this is a close up of this photo. Now over here, this is two raccoons that my sister they were visiting my sister's garden, but this particular raccoon was in a water bowl that my sister leaves out and it was taking a bath. So I enlarged the photo she sent me because it was funny and 
here where we live, we don't have any raccoons. If they're here, I haven't seen them. Um, my husband has seen a possum and I saw a baby possum a few weeks, probably months ago now. It was really cute and thankfully he was really still. So Bruce and Kit Kat didn't know that he was there. And so I got them both into the house. And then when we went back out a little time later, he was gone. Hopefully the little possum is living his best life in the backyard somewhere. Here's Bruce again. And then Bruce. Today's Friday, the 13th. And then I have a few more photos that I need to print and put down over here, which I haven't done yet. So I still need to do that. And that is it. And now you can see the sunlight starting to come through. So that is a quick flip through of my reading journal in my A6. This is my five year diary. And then my cousin. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. Subscribe if you'd like to see after the pin videos of my planners. And that's it. I hope you guys have a great weekend and I'll see you next week. Bye.